Good afternoon, Team Beast. Those of you joining us for the very first time, thank you for clicking on Beast Capacity Outdoors. I'm your leader, Team Beast, Daddy Beast, and this is the Patchwork Plague Doctor Mask. give credit to where credit is due this pattern is not by me it's this is a mask by by Sarah McTrellis um, she did a pattern for a patchwork quilted plague doctor mask out of fabric so I, I sent this pattern to my mother she's actually making the quilted one and uh, as soon as she sends me pictures of it, when she gets it done I'll I'll post some pictures on uh, Beast Capacity Outdoors uh, Facebook page. Um, I'm going to do the original size first. I did do another one, or print, printed another one that I sized up a little bit bigger for a bigger head. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into cutting it. Let's get to it, shall we? Okay, that one's done. That was the eyeballs of the mask. And this is uh, the beak. So you're going to cut two of these out. So this is the beak. And you need two pieces of these. And then we have the eyeballs here. You need two of these. And then here's, I think this is the underside of the beak or top side, whatever. You need two of each one. You know, one of each piece of the pattern. So let's cut these. Now I'm using an exacto blade knife. I started out with scissors, but as you saw, I moved <laughs> to the blade pretty quick. It's much nicer, more controlled than the scissors. Now some of these have a, you know, joints to eight joints to number. Make sure you keep that um, so you know where to place it all. But each one of these will be cut out in its own little pattern piece. I'm not too terribly concerned with keeping it exact to the line because, well, and... Uh, that's part of the coolness of the um, patchwork leather pieces. They don't exactly look too fitted. But because this is kind of a shaped pattern, I do have to keep some kind of you know, tight lines to some of the seams. So it doesn't get all wonky looking. But then again, if it gets wonky looking, you know, it might just be that much cooler. I will have this finished piece up on our Etsy shop when I'm done. Because she does allow you to, uh, you know, make and sell any mask you make. Yeah, or <laughs> make and sell. <laughs> sell, you know... She's like, you know, gives you free usage to uh, sell any of the masks you make. Let's see. Uh, no. This, no. This one. I'm just marking it so I can cut that off.
So I know it joins to eight. So as you can imagine, numbers to numbers, letters to letters. And so also, so when you cut this pattern up, you know, hey, this is number four. I wonder where it goes. <laughs> it attaches to number five or, you know, three, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, she's made it kind of bulletproof for idiots. <laughs> Which, I've been known to be part of that ill-equipped. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't really come with instructions when you do the download. She does talk about how to put it together on her um, vlog area or wherever she was that she put this on. But... Uh, I'm going to be guessing. <laughs> 14, 14 and 4. As being a piece together. And 5 and 13 being a piece together. By just lining them up. And putting a mark that lets me know that's where they go. So yeah. So this would be the eyeball cut out. Now, I will have a glass in it. Actually, I shouldn't say glass. It'll be a plastic um, I will have to probably get it from Harbor Freight um, for like, you know, just a face, face shield thing. Same kind of thing that we use in the cosplay. Same kind of stuff. They're about three, four bucks at... Uh, um, Harbor Freight. So I'll do the same thing here and I'll just, you know, mark it, cut it, and put it in. Um, I don't think I have a face shield here, so I will have to go get one. Which is a trip outside the house. Evidently, this is the right side or left side of the face. This pattern piece. So, uh, on the top of the beak, and imagine yep, okay. This is the underside of the mask, this piece, or the underside of the beak, and that goes right here to H11, F, and 12, and Hopefully this will help those of you guys who do get this mask. You can come back and reference this as to where the pieces lay out if you guys want to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just put number you know number letter correlation to where these pieces go. Put H and then I'll put 11. I'll put a little arrow so I know which side of 11 it goes on. Yeah, maybe I'll go G down here, put H right here, F, G, just that way, kind of know where everything goes. I don't know. 
I think that'll help. So, and then our next video will go into um, patterning, or not patterning, but um, cutting out the pattern pieces to the scrap. Um, getting those pieces punched and all that kind of stuff. You know, because this is something you can take um, and make out of scrap, scrap leather. You can go buy, you know, probably a two pound or a five pound scrap bag for 20 bucks from, you know, a leather supply company like Tandy or uh, Springfield Leather Company or, you know, Weaver. Or even a couple other places out here in California. And then I think we'll end it. This one's already been a little bit lengthy. Looks like we're going to be getting some rain here soon. I can start to feel it in my bones. These two pieces. Left and right of the underside of the beak. So... These will match up together. Yeah, that's the underbeak. Together, this is the top of the beak. I might also line it, <laughs> but we'll talk to you later. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as always, be good, be kind, Team Beast, all the way.